How's it going guys? Angus here from Make His Muse and today I'm going to put to rest what I found in my previous video where I actually felt voltage in the frame of the Prusa Mark III. You guys have done an amazing job in the comments tracking down what actually happened and I'm going to explain in that this video what it was and also show a few new things I'm going to be doing and adding to my testing regime. Welcome back to Makers Muse guys. So before we start, I'm gonna talk about this. Now this is a mains fault detector. Big thanks to DIY3Dtech.com. Um, he's done a fantastic video outlining what I what happened to me with the Prusa Mark III. But uh, he mentioned these mains voltage uh, fault detectors and I went and picked one up. So just run around here and I'll show you how they work. So this is the PowerPoint I was using for my tests where I had the issue because I was using the dodgy uh, uh, daisy chain power boards and such, which again, never ever do. And the purpose of the fault detector is to figure out if there's no ground connected or any other kind of mains wiring issues. So it works really simply, you just plug them in and turn them on. And uh, in my one's case, there's a blue and green light, which it indicates on the, the diagram as correct. And if there's red or any other sequence of the blue or green, then there will be a fault. So it's a really cheap, uh, method of testing to see if there's any faulty faulty wiring and because we move all the time here in Makers Muse I'm gonna be using this to test every single uh, mains outlet in this place to make sure there's no issues. So what I've set up here is a recreation of the fault I had before. Massive warning and disclaimer don't do this, don't try to do this at all. Messing around with the ground is, a, is extremely dangerous. So what I have here is the multimeter and I'm going to test the, the, uh, the frame to this sink here. So when I felt a strong tingle in the Prusa Mark III, um, I'm replacing that voltage potential with this sink. So it should do the same thing and show the same sort of voltage. And what I'm demonstrating here is to prove that um, all these machines, when they're operating correctly, will show that voltage because again, DIY3Dtech.com, go watch his video, but these machines and their power supplies all have a Y capacitor, which is used to filter out electromagnetic interference and radio frequency interference. And because of this capacitor, if ground is not connected, there is voltage that flows through. So I uh, want to just make it clear that these machines are not faulty. And in my previous video, I wasn't sure what's going on, but I'm using this video to clear it up. So what I'm going to do now is uh, just turn it on. Uh, that lovely noise is again, the fan in the, the JG Aurora A5 has a bit of an issue, which I did mention in my review. Um, I've set the multimeter to um, AC voltage, alternating current voltage. And I'm literally just gonna touch an area of the frame because this is a grounded frame and touch the sink here. And you can see it's pulling up about 94 volts AC which would, you'd feel it, but it's not gonna really do much damage as I found out when I touched the Prusa Mark III. So that's the JG Aurora A5, and it's, it's obviously displaying a bit of voltage. I'm gonna plug in the Mark III and show that it's doing basically the same thing. All right guys, so next I have the Prusa Mark III, and I'm gonna do the same thing and re replicate what, I, what happened to me with the previous setup. So I'm gonna turn it on. And again, these machines do not have ground, do not attempt this. Uh, in their current state, they are functioning normally, but in a fault situation, ground can become, uh, if it's ground's not connected, it can become very dangerous with mains voltages. So I'm gonna to touch onto the frame and onto, onto the sink. And again, we're gonna see a voltage very similar to what we saw before, depending on the resistance of the frame. So 80 volts DC, there, uh, 80 volts AC there. And I'm gonna to touch to the power supply as well. And we're gonna see Another voltage there, about 90. So about the same as we saw in the JG Aurora A5. And again, this is the machines operating correctly with that Y capacitor causing the voltage. And for good measure, I recreated it with the Cocoon Create um, version two. So again, touching from the earthed uh, case of the power supply inside, it's getting the 91 volts as well. So this is perfectly normal in how these power supplies operate. So what are the takeaways from this, guys? Well, I do owe an apology to JG Aurora for thinking that their A5 was in some kind of fault condition to be causing that voltage, because in the end, we found out that it's actually a normal state for these power supplies. They have that Y capacitor going between the neutral and the ground, and if the ground is not connected, that voltage has nowhere to go. It's only very, very, very low, um, low current. It's not gonna, not gonna cause any major damage, but it, it is something you can feel. And because I had the two machines on the same power board, that was combining, so I felt a much stronger 
um, much stronger voltage than you would normally. Also keep in mind guys, we have a higher voltage here in Australia. In the mains it's 240 volts AC versus over the, overseas where it's about half. So basically these machines are designed to operate with ground. They have a ground pin for a very good reason. It keeps you safe. And essentially, you, I'm gonna be using that uh, fault detector on all of my ports from now on to make sure they are properly grounded. And please go watch through uh, DIY3DTech.com's video explaining in detail why grounding your 3D printer is extremely important. And I'm glad to actually get to the bottom of this of what actually happened. And I look forward to moving on and printing all sorts of awesome things. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you found this video useful. I look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Maker's Muse. Catch you later guys, bye. and rockets into deep space. He has placed satellites into water. He is actually...